Welcome to another DIY project. This time I am making a short video showing you how to fix the expanding garden hose by Big Bores. For those of you who never used this product before, I strongly recommend it. It is light in weight and is very handy. The only problem is the quality. Looking at the reviews on Canadian Tire website, most people will say it won't last for one year. Similar to this guy posted on Amazon. The hose I had just burst when I turned on the faucet the other day. That's horrible. It's a waste to throw this into garbage. So I repair it successfully and I want to share with all of you DIY people. Okay, let's get started. That's the outer core fiber webbing on a normal hose on one end. Now, this is the one burst on the other end. It doesn't look that good. What you need to do is to get rid of the problematic section. That's the good section we are going to keep. Now there is a trick. You need to follow what I did. Otherwise you will regret. First, pull the rubber tubing as tight as possible. Then use an adjustable clamp to make sure it won't move. If you don't do that, the rubber tubing can slide inside the fiber webbing and there is no way you can retrieve it easily. Leave about one to one and a half inches of rubber tubing and cut it. This black color rubber hose was from my old washing machine 15 years ago. Many people throw this away because they don't know it can be reused for garden. Yes, they have the same connection. Next, go to your local hardware store and pick up this half an inch PAX coupling in the plumbing section. It's about $1.50 Canadian. Putting this together is pretty much self-explanatory. You cut the washing machine hose to the length you want. For me, I only need roughly 10 inches. Then insert the PAX coupling inside. Oh, I forgot, you need to buy two steel clamps. They are about a dollar each. Now use your finger skills to enlarge the rubber tubing and slide it into the PAX coupling. As you can see here, the rubber is pretty weak and crappy. That's the reason why it doesn't last very long. You don't need to insert it all the way. The goal here is to make sure it doesn't leak. That's good enough. Finally, use the screwdriver to tighten the steel clamp on both ends. Time to do some testing. After we turn on the faucet, it's expanding as expected. We want to build up the maximum water pressure because the most important part is to check if there is any leaking. Perfect, there is no leaking at all. I would say this DIY project is completed successfully. The total cost of this repair is 350 Canadian. This saves me 50 bucks from buying a new one. Isn't that amazing? Now, you may ask, what if you don't have an old washing machine hose? Of course, you can steal it from your mother-in-law's house or you can use an old rubber garden hose. There is another project I will publish in the near future talking about using an old garden hose and turn it into a sprinkler system. This is very useful if you have a small yard and your lawn is in irregular shape. If you don't want to miss that, remember to subscribe. My goal is to inspire more people into DIY. You may also want to check out other videos on my channel. I am pretty sure you would love them. Thanks for watching and see you next time.